Chase Jones in some trouble in the end zone, and it's intercepted, and a touchdown! There's no reason for that to have happened for the New York Giants. None whatsoever. That's an experienced quarterback. That's not Tommy DeVito. We have just witnessed quarterback Daniel Jones completely ruin his career in one preseason game. This was such a disaster that the Giants' 2024 season may already be over. I wonder, I just wonder if the episode from HBO's Hard Knocks where the Giants openly talk about replacing Daniel Jones maybe just maybe affected his confidence. Maybe Tom Brady saw the writing on the wall for quarterback Daniel Jones while speaking at a conference just this past weekend. He pulled Daniel Jones' name out of the blue when talking about a hypothetical interception. Because in some ways, I don't necessarily know exactly what the problem was on that play. Let's say... Daniel Jones throws an interception. I didn't mean to say it like that. I wasn't even being critical of Daniel Jones. Maybe I was a little bit. I'm sure that name was just totally random. But in some ways, you gotta feel bad for Daniel Jones, the former first round pick in 2019 for the New York Giants. Remember in 2022, in his first season with brand new head coach Brian Dable, he actually had a good year where they made the playoffs and Daniel Jones looked like a true dual threat quarterback and even got nicknamed Vanilla Vic. This great season in 2022 led to Daniel Jones signing a four year contract in March of 2023 worth 160 million dollars. In some ways, this contract makes sense because QBs are getting paid a crap ton these days, but this contract was heavily criticized at the time because Giants running back Saquon Barkley wanted a new deal in 2023, but the Giants decided to sign Daniel Jones and just franchise Saquon Barkley, making the running back pretty unhappy. Since then, in 2024, Saquon Barkley has left the Giants and instead joined the NFC East division rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles. Obviously, the decision to to choose Daniel Jones over Saquon Barkley looks like a big fat L in retrospect. And that is because the 2023 season was a complete disaster for the New York Giants, ending in a 6-11 record. Daniel Jones only played six games in 2023 before he was ultimately injured in a matchup against the Raiders where he tore his ACL. But even right before the injury, Daniel Jones was already going downhill. Jones was leading a 2-7 record at the time and and only threw for 900 yards with two touchdowns and six picks. That's a horrible touchdown interception ratio. Throughout the season, we saw an absolutely angry Brian Dable. This guy was constantly throwing rage fits, lashing out at the refs, lashing out at the quarterbacks, and even lashed out at defensive coordinator Wink Martindale. And this led to Martindale quitting on the Giants after the season. A lot of rumors out there say the anger of Brian Dable pushed Wink Martindale out. New York Giants fans were so desperate for optimism after Daniel Jones went down that they even hyped up Tommy DeVito, the Italian sensation. This practice squad Italian QB filled in for Daniel Jones and had some fun celebrations, but only had a 3-3 record and then quickly fizzled out. And then in 2024, surprisingly, we were able to get an inside look at the Giants offseason process via HBO's Hard Knocks. One thing that is notable is that the angry Brian Dable appeared to have lost a ton of weight. So we thought, hey, maybe we would see a happier Brian Dable in 2024. Could the horrible 2023 season mainly be a fluke? Was the downfall mainly due to Daniel Jones' injury? Who knows? But instead, what we learned in HBO's Hard Knocks is that the Giants head coach Brian Dable desperately wanted to trade up for a top QB prospect in the 2024 NFL. NFL draft. Clearly, he was not looking forward to another season of Mr. Daniel Jones, even if he's healthy. And there's even a scene during a discussion where head coach Brian Dable openly says he would be down to trade up in the draft for the now commander's quarterback, Jaden Daniels. Daniels, have you guys seen enough that you would trade up for him? Daniels? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yes. It's insane that the whole world saw this, including Daniel Jones, who was quoted recently saying he wasn't happy knowing the Giants were shopping for a quarterback. We don't get a quarterback here. We're rolling with Daniel, and we're going to try to get him a weapon. We good with that? Yep. 
Hard Knocks is also heavily censored. Teams often have creative control. Imagine what worse discussions happened that they decided to cut out. And a lot of people thought, damn, what a big hit to Daniel Jones' confidence, knowing that the head coach that he's working with right now actively wants to move on from him. So instead, in the 2024 NFL Draft, the New York Giants would select LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbors in the first round. And let's just say he did not look happy knowing he was going to catch passes from Daniel Daniel Jones, or in his words, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I actually did talk to Daniel Jones. He was so going into the 2024 season with all this drama in the background. Daniel Jones, now with more weapons, sought to prove that he is worth the 160 million dollar contract he signed in 2023. Jones has claimed to be healthy after coming back from surgery, and the quarterback has looked promising in training camp. The Giants would refrain from playing Daniel Jones in the first 2024 preseason game and instead played the backup quarterback, Drew Locke, along with the Italian sensation, Tommy DeVito. So as we entered the week two preseason game, all eyes were on Daniel Jones as he was set to start against the Houston Texans. And let's just say it was an absolute disaster disaster and it could not have gone any worse for Daniel Jones. There is Jones in some trouble in the end zone and it's intercepted and a touchdown. There's no reason for that to have happened for the New York Giants. None whatsoever. That's an experienced quarterback. That's not Tommy DeVito. Not only did Daniel Jones throw two interceptions, one of them being a pick six, he also had a dropped interception. The dude could have thrown three picks in just two quarters. And what makes this even worse is that Daniel Jones was with the first team offense, starting offensive line, starting wide receivers like Malik Neighbors. And the Texans had their starters in for a little bit, but played their backups the majority of the time. Daniel Jones ended up playing the entire first half because it was going so poorly that they wanted to squeeze out at least one positive drive. Jones looked completely uncomfortable, and just imagine if the Houston Texans played their starters the entire time. This could have been a lot worse for the quarterback. And after the game, Daniel Jones had the nerve to say that the first quarter wasn't what they wanted, but he He's glad they responded in the second quarter. Yeah, they responded in the second quarter by at least getting 10 points after almost throwing three interceptions. And at the same time, man, Brian Dable, despite the fact that he has lost so much weight, did not look happy at all for the majority of the game. Tough to win a game when you turn the ball over five times. Let's start with that. Uh... And after the game, he could not even make excuses for Daniel Jones and instead tried to weasel out of tough questions by saying, oh, I got to go check out the film. Again, I'll go back and we'll go back and watch it all and, and make corrections um, and try to get better this week. Fans online have been flaming Daniel Jones after this horrible performance, and also mainly because he has grown a beard in the offseason. A lot of people thought this new beard by Daniel Jones could lead to him having some more swagger. A lot of questions about the beard. It's not a, it's not a new me, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. NFL analyst Kay Adams even made this a big point of discussion. Don't do it. 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 Don't do and honestly, at this point, maybe he should shave that before the start of the regular season. Maybe that could give him a spark. The main issue for the Giants in 2024 is not only Daniel Jones on the hot seat, but Brian Dable, the head coach, has also been listed as on the hot seat, despite the fact that he did lead them to the playoffs in his first year in 2022. And the backup quarterbacks clearly are not great for the Giants with Drew Locke, with Tommy DeVito. So that means that the Giants' best hope is that Daniel Jones somehow pulls out a miracle and turns this entire year around. But honestly, after this disastrous performance, after the fact that through hard knocks, we were able to see the Giants clearly wanted to move on from this guy. It is pretty obvious that this year will be the last year for Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. Fortunately for the Giants, they could easily get out of Daniel Jones contract in this upcoming offseason with little to no negative effect on their cap space. In some ways, you can blame Daniel Daniel Jones, but the Giants should not have killed his confidence in the first place publicly on Hard Knocks. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Subscribe for more NFL stories from me. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.